Hi, I'm Kyle Jorgensen, president of Revolution Machine Tool. This is Jaime Anaya. He's an applica application engineer at Revolution Machine Tool. And we're just going to make a kind of a fun video today, we, something we've been thinking about for a while. Um, we're going we're gonna to actually, first we're going to do a cut groove on six inch pipe. So cut groove, not form groove, but cut groove. Then we're going to change the tooling and show you the quick change tooling system that we've developed and switch over to doing threading. I mean, just NPT thread, we could do lots, lots of threads, but that's what we're doing today. And uh, this is our TGB 14, um, a very capable machine. We find stuff all, I mean, many processes and projects that this machine's capable of doing almost daily. Um, but uh, I'm going to leave it up to Jaime. He's going he's gonna to run this part. Again, cut groove, we'll change tooling, then we'll thread. Then we're going to pull this part out and we're going to change the tooling, show you how you change the tooling. We'll do four inch NPT and probably two inch NPT. But uh, I'm going to film it from the window so you can see what I see. Now, as you can see, he's just using the blade of his of the cut groove tool that we have to reference the material. Now, for cut groove, we're only using one tool. The other tool is just in place to keep it clean. Now, if we needed to, we could face the end of the pipe, chamfer it. But we, we just programmed a cut groove. We could, you could do anything you need. I mean, we can cut this cut groove in, I mean, down to the thousands for the accuracy. So there's our cut groove. Now. Let me just unclamp the vise. Just... I mean, obviously, use your cut, and cut groove. You got 10 feet or 20 foot pipe, and we've got conveyor systems and end feed systems, and we've got customers that put one machine on one end, another machine here. Depend on your production requirement. Now he's going to pull these tools out. Now that tool is just in there to keep. All right, stop my camera. That tool he just took out was in there just to keep the tool holder clean. So he just inserted a threading tool. Sorry. Now he's going to pull the cut groove blade out. Now if I had high, high production cut groove, I, we could build or get a, a, a blade that's the exact size of the cut groove. You know. We like a blade that you can do all the cut grooves with. That's a facing tool. I'll show you what he's going to do with that here in a minute. So we just basically move the machine to start position, using our tool again to reference the pipe. We could build other. other systems. Now, you notice we did put a chamfer on the inside and then we beveled or not beveled but tapered the material or the pipe with a facing tool so basically that's the height of our thread right there it's already cut at the taper we get really beautiful product accurate and we get a lot of life out of our tooling by doing it this way actually and you can watch the time it's a really fast We 
we actually could use a, like a double entry or not. So there's our NPT. Now see, I'm grabbing this. It's not hot. We weren't running any coolant and we're just running. And you can see, you got a chamfer, it's nice. I mean, that's, there's no burr, nothing, sh just beautiful threads. Now, now, due to the nature of how we built this machine, we've only got so much travel on our x-axis. So we, we can have a range, but going from say six inch to two inch with this current tooling setup is too far or too big of a range. So we're gonna slide our tools into another preset position. Now we could, if you were set up for the way you guys do your threading and cut groove and stuff like that, we would build or you could build some blocks that would set this for what you're doing. But he was just using a caliper to set it to a position. But he, as you can imagine, we could build a block that sits in here, locks into these holes, automatically sets our width. But you gotta think the TGB, this machine, it's got a really wide range. You know, I know a lot of, you know, a lot of people in the market are using Landis's to, I mean, they're a nice machine, obviously. Um, but, you know, you're, you got a two inch Landis, you're kind of, in the head, you're kind of stuck two inch in a way. So now you need to thread six inch, you know, you gotta have another machine. Whereas our, you know, the TGB 14, we're able to, you know, the range is really wide. So, you, you know, you can essentially do half inch. I mean, it's kind of, pretty small for this size machine, but all the way up to 14 inch. So there's anything in between. And we, <clears throat> it's not just threading and cut groove we can do with this machine. We can bore, thread. I mean, you know, it's like a little boring mill. You can, you know, you can do a lot of machining, a lot of forming with the machine. So, You got the Allen? Mm -hmm. So just on a T-slot. We like the T-slot because if somebody makes a really bad mistake, it'll give. You know, it's your weak point. Um, also the machine, I mean, if really crash you're going to sense load and it's going to stop i mean immediately so there's some safeties built into it but so this is 
a predetermined range between our two tools for four inch pipe and two inch pipe. And it's, it's easy to figure that out. Yeah. So we've changed our tools. So he's going to grab a piece of four inch. The way our vices are built, see how that's self-centered? So you're just doing MPT, correct? Obviously that's what your tools are in. So same thing like we did before, he's got a set position to start his program. Again, there's a lot of ways to do this. This is just a simple way. There's flat surfaces in a lot of those tools where you can hit. You don't necessarily want to slide into a carbide insert or something all the time, all day long. But, um, you know, if you've got a flat surface on the tool, you just set it as your home position and there's your start. So now we're going to do NPT on this four inch pipe. So he just reamed the inside. Now we're going into the taper. Again, we're running this dry. So four inch NPT. See, it's not hot. Reams, good looking threads. So now he's gonna grab a piece of two inch Now, there's some stuff we could do to the vices for, you know, you could have a foot switch. We could set some pre-programmed positions even in a vice, not on this machine, it's an option. You know, if you're really high production. So. So he comes into his home position, pulled up his program. Clamps his pipe. We are. Oh, yeah. Are you on the film? <laughs> no. <In the> glasses. <laughs> So 
GT. Not hot. So, anyway, pretty simple. Um, So again, <clears throat> pretty easy to set up and change different pipe diameters and sizes. Um, very capable machine. There's a lot of products, different processes we can do with this machine. But uh, check us out at rmtus.com and uh, thanks for your time today. Thank you.